Across the river tonight, Phoenix City's Board of Education has filled the superintendent's seat. With the seat being open for almost a year, a lengthy process to fill this position has been offered to a native of Northport, Alabama. Now, News of Tonight's Amaya Graham talking with Dr. Janet Sherrod on her new role here in Phoenix City. Dr. Janet Sherrod is no stranger to Phoenix City. Sherrod says she started her teaching career right in Russell County. With a to-do list ready to go, Dr. Sherrod says she is thrilled to join the Red Devil Nation. Meet Dr. Janet Sherrod, the new superintendent for Phoenix City Schools. Dr. Sherrod currently serves as the executive director of learning support for the Tuscaloosa City Board of Education. She says after doing her research on Phoenix City Schools, she knew it was a great place for her to be. There are a lot of wonderful things going on in Phoenix City, and I just felt like that I could be the leader that would work with the students, the community, as well as the leaders to move it to the next level. Dr. Sherrod says she would like the parents and students to know. First of all, I'm all about students. Um, I'm very approachable, and um, we have an open-door policy. We talk about things, we get through things, and I just want to make sure that as the leader that I am working collaboratively with the community as well as um, everyone in the school district to ensure that we are meeting the needs of all of our children. Dr. Janet Sherrod started teaching in Russell County. She has been in education now for 30 years. I'm not tired yet because it's the work that I think I was called to do and it's the work that I love to do. So this is actually, I am beginning my 31st year, but um, that does not mean I have, I've had 31 quality years. And so I'm just looking forward. And if I can do 31 more, um, I'm willing, you know, I'm willing to do that. Sherrod says she is elated to start this position. This role is something she says she will not take lightly because I know I have a lot of little girls and little boys that are looking up to me and I want to make sure that I am the example for them as well. So that's why um, I always say that children are at the forefront of my work and I also say this, there's no I in the work team. When Dr. Sherrod is not working, she enjoys blinging things out, shopping and spending time with her loved ones. Dr. Sherrod says she is thrilled to start on June 1st. In the studio, Amaya Graham, WTVM News Leader 9. All right, thank you very much, Amaya, and congrats to Phoenix City on a new superintendent. Let's go to